Hello, today I will show you my process of making lithography. Um, you could call it allography or allography, but people won't understand it. So I use lithography because it's the same procedure. I, need, I, I use some, some plates of plastic uh, or iron instead of stone. Uh, the thickness is about a half a millimeter. I'm tearing up some kitchen aluminium foil. Cut it off at the end. Mm, the process is uh, called by Senefelder chemische Druckerei. Uh, it's chemical printing. Uh, you produce some, some parts which are hydrophobic and some parts which are hydrophilic uh, attracting uh, water and the other painted parts attract oily substances are lipophilic and uh, you have pores, uh, little holes or pins in, at the surface is the same uh, uh, nearly the same uh, structure that exists in the inner chalk uh, plate uh, uh, which are used by uh, Senefeld uh, um, uh, not easy to go to to get and uh, very expensive uh, fold the aluminium uh, at the back side of uh, your plate so you can fix it with uh, some tape but it's not necessary Then you can uh, begin to paint. Uh, I use some uh, lithographic crayons, which I showed how to make them in another YouTube video. Um, uh, that are soft uh, crayons, uh, which are made at the base of um, of. Uh, uh, oily substances uh, like uh, bee wax, uh, uh, paraffin, uh, pork fat and uh, such uh, stuff, it, they're nearly the same uh, as the uh, printing ink which I later will use. Um, try not to touch uh, the surface of the uh, aluminium with your fingers. Um, because a finger have they have fat and uh, then uh, this parts will be uh, printed in the leg. Mm, the surface is uh, not exactly aluminium; it's aluminium oxide, and the old aluminium oxide, uh, which you can uh, see here reflecting the light, uh, uh, is lipophilic, attracting. Uh, fatty substances, uh, so you can paint with uh, f fatty pencils or some some ink. Uh, nearly every material which is uh, uh, not soluble in water and adherent to uh, lipophilic uh, pores. Uh, oh, we have uh, a little bit of sun here. Um, The uh, parts uh, which are free of, uh, of the painting later will be etched uh, in, in a similar procedure which is used by Senefelder. I, I use for etching vinegar and um, then you lift off the aluminum oxide and uh, making some pores, uh, holes for, for water. Uh, which later are oxidized to aluminum hydroxide and so are hydrophilic uh, regions which attract water and are repellent to the uh, printing ink. Mm. Uh, it's nearly the same procedure which is, uh, which is uh, generated on a stone. Um, but, but with the stone you, you can uh, make uh, a larger reproductive series of, of about a hundred pieces. Uh, um, with this procedure you can only make um, let's say 20 uh, printings. Uh, after this printing the, the aluminium foil is destroyed. 
but for artistic work it's uh, it's good I think I like it in the next uh, video I will show uh, you how how I make uh, the the etching and uh, the painting giving a color to the uh, picture which I have drawn and I will show how to uh, print it uh, with a self-made uh, lithographic uh, printing machine if you want to see more of uh, my work you are invited to to go to my home page I use uh, two different uh, types of um, lithographic uh, chalk. One is softer, one is harder.